two minutes, shall we take the name of the Lord? Om Namah Shivaya, Om Namah Shivaya. 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 Ganesh, can you hear us okay? Uh, Satish, we can hear you. Hey guys, you both are live. Please mute. Yeah, we do just to see where the first one is. Sound is good. Om Namah Shivaya. Om Namah Shivaya. Om Namah Shivaya, Om Namah Shivaya. Om Namah Shivaya, Om Namah Shivaya. Om Namah Shivaya. Om Namah Shivaya. Humble prostrations to one and all present here. Are you all listening? Yes. If you silently, quietly, attentively sit, then my story will begin. Ready? Yes. Okay. So there was a very famous doctor. His name was Dr. Stephen. What was his name? Ah, Dr. Stephen. He was an expert in treating particular type of cancer. So therefore, the medical fraternity, the medical association decided to felicitate him, award him for his contribution in medical field. So therefore, they contacted him and one day was fixed to award him, reward him, recognize him for his contribution. So Dr. Stephen, he boarded the flight to attend that conference. 
And as that plane was flying, there was this announcement. We are really sorry. There is some technical error in this flight. So we have to land at the nearest airport. We are really sorry. And thus the flight landed in the nearest airport. Dr. Stephen, he went to the reception and said, Madam, I have to urgently attend one conference. When is the next flight? So then that lady said, Sir, the next flight is only after maybe 10 hours. But a better suggestion would be you can rent a car, drive yourself, that place is just four hours from here. So then you will be on time. This doctor, he did not like driving. But then what to do? There was no other choice. He took a car for rent and then he started driving. And as he was driving, there was rain and thunderstorm and all that. There was one place where he was supposed to take a turn. He missed it. Kept on driving. Kept on driving. And slowly, slowly, he saw that all the, you know, buildings, they were just disappearing. And he was entering into some lonely area, some forest-like area, devoid of all civilization. And by the time it got dark, he found himself in a completely isolated place, forest-like area, no house to be seen. It was getting dark, so he wanted some shelter. He kept on searching for some house somewhere. And finally, in the deep forest, he found a small hut. He got out of his car, tired, exhausted, drenched. He went to that hut. the door and waited patiently. And after some time, one elderly lady, grandma, opened the door. Just by seeing this person's you know, condition, this lady understood. He has lost his way. He said, sir, please come in. I am sure you must have lost your way. Otherwise, nobody comes here. <laughs> please come now. Sit down. I see that you are very tired. You must be very hungry also. Come, please. So the doctor, he went inside the hut. Only a one small room. Thatched hut. He sat in a corner. This lady went to the other corner of the hut. Only four corners, no rooms. <laughs> some things were kept. Hearth was there. So she took some milk, boiled the milk, some biscuits, some bread, whatever was available. She took everything, kept it on the table in front of him. And she said, Sir, Please help yourself. Meanwhile, I will just finish my prayer. So this lady went to the other corner of the hut. One corner is kitchen. Other corner, <laughs> Stephen is seated in. Third corner, she went. And in that corner, there was a small altar. 
she kneeled down in front of that altar and then she started offering her prayers but every time she was offering her prayer she would look into a small cradle a baby was lying inside the cradle she would look into the cradle again offer something talk something offer some prayers and this doctor was watching this as he was having his milk and bread etc after the prayer the lady came so dr stephen asked him amma is everything okay is there something which i can do to you help you in some way the lady said no no everything is fine by god's grace in life whatever i have asked god has been kind enough to bless me with everything none of my prayers have gone unanswered but there is one thing which is bothering me doctor said amma if you don't mind if you can share maybe i can do something yes she said sir this baby who is lying down in that cradle is suffering from a rare disease and they say that there is only one doctor who knows the treatment and they say his name is dr stephen <laughs> i don't know where he is they say he is very far away from here who is he i don't know where is he how to find him i don't know so therefore this is my only prayer to the lord oh lord you do what is necessary and as dr shivan heard this tears welled up in his eyes he said amma that dr stephen whom you are searching for is right in front of you point is this is the power of prayer now dr stephen understood why there was a technical error in the plane why he got lost while driving there was a purpose it was all because of that power of prayer of this old lady how many of you pray every day not the elders i am talking of children raise your hand high so that i can see how many of you don't pray how many of you don't pray so if you don't pray who is the loser god or you <laughs> you see there is such a wonderful opportunity wonderful possibility whatever you need you can ask god and that god is always with you always listening to you infinitely loving you unconditionally loving you ever paying attention to you ever ready to help you ever ready to guide you ever ready to empower you strengthen you that lord is always there but there is only one condition what is the condition unless you ask his help he cannot enter into your life this is the condition 
unless you ask his help he can't enter it is something like sunlight sunlight is ever there but unless you open the doors and windows sunlight cannot en enter the room will remain dark god's grace is like that you have to seek help he may knock at your door but who has to open the door i have to open the door you see are you able to understand what i am saying ha ah. so those who regularly pray ever remain in touch with him you can ask whatever you want he is the ultimate father and mother of the whole cosmos listening to everyone now listen carefully there are four ways in which god will answer your prayer how many ways for number 1 yes number 2 no number 3 wait and number 4 take here is something better what is the first one yes what is the second one no what is the third one wait what is the fourth one take here is something better first one yes whatever you ask he will give you second one what is second one no you are asking something and he will not give you why he will not give you he will not give you because 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 it is not good for you you are asking for something and he will not give you because it is not good just like if you ask for a knife from your mother will the mother give no suppose you are having fever and you are asking for ice cream will the mother give if the mother gives then that mother should be given two beatings <laughs> the point is what is not good for you your mother will not give your father will not give in the same way the lord also will not give you the answer is no what is the first one second one third one wait sometimes the right time has not come he will ask you to wait have patience when the right time come i will give you and the fourth one what is the fourth one <laughs> not just take take means what is the yes only no what is the fourth one take comma here is something better yeah you are asking for something inferior god will say no there is something better which you deserve i will give you that so this is the way the lord will answer your prayer so as intelligent balavi are children what you should do ever there should be some time every day where you should spend time with god talk to him it's not necessary that you should chant some complicated sanskrit mantras not necessary just talk to him just spend time with him spend time in silence spend some quality time listening to him being in his presence feeling his presence that is enough so every day when you do this slowly 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 a time comes when you start feeling his presence throughout your day you know that you are not alone you are with god and once this happen whatever be the challenge you face in life troubles difficulties tragedies you will not be shaken because you know that i am not alone god is with me whatever is needed for me he will give 
whether it is knowledge, whether it is wealth, whether it is ideas, whether it is inspiration, whether it is concentration, whether it is right attitude, you name it and it will come. Hmm. This is a perfect way of living. But what is the price you have to pay for this? Daily, regularly pray with all sincerity, with all dedication when you do this. Then you start, you know, living a beautiful life guided by omniscient, omnipotent, omnipresent God. This will be the most intelligent way to live. I sincerely invoke the grace of the Lord, the blessings of our entire Guru Parampara, the blessings of our parents and teachers. May we all live life intelligently, be a blessing for ourselves, and for everyone. Hari Om. Thank you. Our humble pranam is Prani ji, uh, Swamiji for, uh, for that wonderful story. This is yet another example why we in Pittsburgh should take every opportunity to come to these events when our Swamis make the effort to come and visit us. Not only are they master storytellers, but they get across such important uh, messages uh, to all of us. With that, uh, we'll do our uh, arati, our, uh, our, our gratitude to our lunch sponsors today, uh, Tarun, Rinesh, uh, Malni, and Suntar. If they are here, we can ask them to come forward for the arati. <coughs> Rajadi Raja Yaprasahya Sahine Namo Vayam Vai Shravanaya Kurmahe Sameka Manka Makama Yamahyam Kame Shvaru Vai Shravano Dadhatu Kubera Yavai Shravanaya Maharaja Yanamaha Om Natatra Suryo Bhati Nachandra Tarakam Nema vidyuto bhanti kuto yamagnihi Tame vabhantam anubhati sarvam Tasya bhasa sarvam idam vibhati Hari hi om Shri Guru Bhyona maha Hari hi om Please put your hand over your heart. We stand as one family, bound to each other with love and respect. We serve as an army, courageous and disciplined, ever ready to fight against all low tendencies and false values within and without us. We live honestly the noble life of sacrifice and service, producing more than what we consume and giving more than what we take. We seek the Lord's grace to keep us on the path of virtue, courage, and wisdom. May thy grace and blessings flow through us to the world around us. We believe that the service of our country is the service of the Lord of Lords, and devotion to the people is devotion to the Supreme Self. We know our responsibilities. Give us the ability and courage to fulfill them. Om Tat Sat. I think our high schoolers are going to